MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell spent 96 hours battling technology in his head while showcasing how the election was stalled with hard evidence in the form of memes, prayers, and messages from failed lawyers. I think people are surprised seeing, uh, you know, stuff that's just surprising. And that those, now it's correct, those exhibits actually validate everything in here. Is that correct? Uh, no. Most of the time was spent warning viewers about Australia and complaining about cancel culture while canceling his ads on other platforms. Complain. Uh, uh, you're going to find that square. If you don't want to come across as crazy, you might want to start by not having the wire hanging out of your head like you're USB powered. I have plenty of Roco ABD level footage throughout this, so be sure to stick around. Plus, I have the latest and stupid from Lauren Boebert, Don Jr., Donald Trump, and more. Donald Trump is now a black belt holder, despite having never practiced Taekwondo. In the past, Donald Trump was given a purple heart from a veteran, weird, and a brown belt from Twitter for the amount of dumps he takes in his pants. In his pants. Dumps in his pants. Kuki Wan President Lee Dong Sup awarded the honorary ninth Dan certificate to Donald Trump. You can clearly see they had to string a couple together to get it around Diaper Don's gut. The other fellow's like ready to go, and Trump's got this this stance. What's with this stance? He's just he's just ready to wank a couple unicorns. Ridiculous. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Miyagi for giving me the black belt without making me do the wax on, paint the fence thing. Look how small Trump's hands are next to his. And Trump is a way bigger dude, but his hands are half the size. Trump still denies that he has small hands. We are looking at Trump's small hands right now. Making Donald Trump an honorary black belt is as ridiculous as making Mel Gibson an honorary rabbi. Kind of like all of you out there, I'm going to tell you in a minute, the specials I passed on to you because of this, uh, uh, what's happened to my pillow. So anyway, we, um, are we, are we alive? Yep. Yeah, are we, are we alive? Yep. We are alive, and we're amazed that you are. You've got like a Keith Richards thing going on, if Keith Richards had a mustache and sucked. Um, you've got to get the word out. You know, the word out, the word out, um you got to get the word out and... I love when Mike's phone rings because it means his friends are either not watching or stupid. They had a great system because you had been doing stuff for how long? A year? About a year. A year. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the thing if Ron Burgundy's parents were related before they were married, the result would be Mike Lindell. Yeah. And, the, and the thing is, you Mike, can't turn it off. we got Boy, is he trying. by a lot of other states. Oh, this is a tough one. Everybody tried to tell us turn off an iPhone. Show us tools that they had. In the middle of my election of fraud cybersecurity investigation. CNN suspended Chris Cuomo and Don Jr. took to Twitter to rejoice. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me an indefinite Cuomo suspension and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Naturally, I replied... I thought you said Biden canceled Christmas. How's Eric's burner cell? If you actually got a partridge in a pear tree, you would probably shoot the partridge and find a place for the pear that's not in your mouth. Just saying. And everybody knows I wasn't canceled because I backed the greatest president ever got behind him. I was canceled because of the 2020 election and I spoke out and have not quit speaking out about the evidence and saying there's no evidence. Well, here it is. It's a Supreme Court complaint. I want to tell you what the, we've had this 96 hour, we've had this 96 hour um, um, thanks a ton going on. And I'm going to tell you the headline. This isn't evidence. It's just a complaint. A complaint isn't evidence. This is just your Yelp review, Mike. Donald Trump won the election. The evidence is in my MAGA memes, mental rants, and the fake PCAPs I spent millions on. Please look at this, Mr. Supreme Court and vote nine to zero. Do the right thing for the USA before we become Australia. Have you seen Australia? It's like Terminator B, drones and stuff. Dominion voting machines are evil. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody is in the forest, then Trump won and he has to be put back on the golf course so he can be best president. Watch me and Brandon in his JC Penny suit on Rocco. If you have technical difficulties, call us at ABD12C.
Hey man, if I didn't find MAGA ridiculous and funny too, I wouldn't be doing this. I am playing this at 10,000 times speed. Watch the other guys. They don't say a word. Mike talks for an hour and five minutes. They don't say a thing. He just completely dominates while they have to sit there uncomfortably. And fine, they're morons and that's their punishment for getting involved with another moron. But it just goes on and on and on and on. Like they, they don't say a thing. And then finally, finally, finally... You guys talk, and then I am going to run Alan Dershowitz's thing. I know we're going to be pushing time. But what, but what do you think of all that, that I just said? What do you think about what I just said over the last 65 minutes? Yeah, well, it is a... Uh, the, the cancel culture reminds me of the governor of North Carolina when the bathroom bill was up, where he was not in favor of having the men go into the women's bathrooms. Mm -hmm. And... After 65 minutes of talking, you finally get a moment to speak, and you choose to speak against trans rights. On Inauguration Day... Inauguration Day. Still hasn't learned that one, and this next one has gotten weirder. Mike Lindell, funding new nationwide gra grassroots election integrity group leader, says... Grassroots. Lauren Boebert also wants Kyle Rittenhouse to be an intern, which is weird because he's too old for her and her husband... Among the wacko Republicans, there is a lot of competition for Kyle Rittenhouse. That's like fighting over that one jelly bean that tastes terrible. It, it doesn't make any sense, but these are mental people. Lauren Barfbowl has competition from Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene because stupid loves stupid. Lauren said this of wheelchair-bound representative Madison Cawthorn. Now, I do have some colleagues on the Hill who have... Um, just like me, offered Kyle Rittenhouse an internship in their office. And uh, you know, Madison Cawthorn, he said that he would arm wrestle me uh, for this uh, Kyle Rittenhouse internship. But Madison Cawthorn has some pretty big guns. And so I would like to challenge him to a sprint instead. His biceps are huge, so I don't want to arm wrestle him. So instead, I'll opt to race. And that means she's either talking feet and his don't work, so she's just being horrible, or she's being stupid talking a straight-up race. And I'm not a betting man, but I put my money on strong arms and wheels over day stripper heels anytime. Look at Australia. They did gun comp. They did, you know, their gun buyback program, and it worked out so great. Look at Australia. They're a model. Look at Australia. Listen up, Australia. Taryn's talking. They gave up their guns, and now they are having their children force, force, force vaccinating their children. They're being put in quarantine camps. They have no rights in Australia. The Second Amendment protects our rights. It is our God-given right to defend ourselves, and they cannot take it away. You cannot take away natural rights. They come to us from God. Blah, blah, blah. USA, freedom, God, blah, blah, blah. These people are insane. You cannot declare it the greatest country on earth when active shooters are a part of daily life and healthcare is not. I've had, I've had, uh, I've had police come to my door back in the day, and I'm going to tell this. I'll tell this story. This is a difference. This is back in the '90s, and and uh, I had got a ticket. I had been put under a, a home arrest, and I had violated my monitor. I had, I had done more cocaine or drank or whatever it was, and the monitor showed the police that I had. Uh, that I had violated my monitor, and I'll never forget the the uh, the police officer the, from our little town of Carver, Minnesota. He was a county county cop, and he uh, my phone rang, and he said, "Mike, this is Sheriff. I won't say his name." And he said, "You violated your monitor last night. I'm coming to arrest you." But he says, "I'm going to wait till your kids go go up go to get on the bus." And I said, "Thank you so much," and. And if they got on the bus, of course, I was arrested then. But but it was like, you know, you wonder. You wonder? You wonder if people with darker skin get that treatment? Because they don't. Okay. No okay. signal. So, like the so neurons anyway, in his yeah. brain. MAGA tears were flowing this week over Kamala Harris buying cookware. Yeah. Someone with a good job bought a nice pot in France. MAGA's totally fine with this. But not this. I'm a big foodie. If you're buying a nice pot, it's because you like to cook too. It's nice to have a VP that will go in the kitchen. Can you imagine Mike Pence trying to make dinner? 
I mean, first you'd have to figure out how to get a stove in the closet. This is what they considered showing evidence throughout the Thanksathon. A bunch of memes. Election integrity. A vote counted exactly as it was cast. And then they have all these gross Karens giving their testimonials. They proudly display this stuff throughout the Thanksathon, and it's just ridiculous. Like, there's Dr. Bowtie and that super Karen, and a Trump doll that's kind of Donald Trump mixed with the guy from the Goonies, you know. Look, more evidence. Stock footage of money pouring in. More Karens. And her name really is Karen. Keep asking. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. Luke, 11-9. And then you got these two Karens sharing a handheld mic between the two of them, just passing it back and forth. Couldn't figure that out. Rules. Laws. Regulations. Flags. Bible. Bunch of bullets and a flag. Trump won. See, it's in spray paint on the ground. So that settles it, right? Right? Should we take the mics off? We're done. Trump won. Former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows' new book, The Chief's Chief, claims Donald Trump tested positive before his debate with Joe Biden, before his Rose Garden ceremony, and Trump is denying it because reckless endangerment is a crime. Here's Trump after testing positive at a debate with Joe Biden. I don't have to, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it, he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. Also want to note that when Donald Trump got COVID, he actually blamed it on Gold Star families that he'd hugged at an event. Outspoken conservative Christian broadcaster Marcus Lamb has passed away from the virus he said was fake. MAGA tears. If you watch this baldy, you can't say you're a real patriot. MAGA tears. I don't appreciate you cutting Mike down. His products are fantastic. You're no jewel to listen to, BTW. MAGA tears. You're all angry sheep. MAGA tears. Sad thing is, Tommy Guy looks smart. Probably just evil. MAGA tears. You would have to be brain dead not to see the election frauds. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several theater and arena tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. Also, you can support the show by checking out my merchandise. You can grab an ABD, a Stoled, or a Channel mug. They go fantastic with those MAGA tears. If you want to have a friend roasted or congratulated, I do personal videos on Cameo. Thanks again for watching. Life's short. Have fun. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.